uh, it burn up a lot way back there. This side of the road it started on and then it jumped to that side of the road. Wow, a lot of acreage burnt. Okay, we will get to that field fire in a bit, but uh, first let's harvest some wheat. This is the view from my office this morning. Looks like just another lazy day on the river. I do not see any boats out there. That is uh, quite unusual. No crabbing boats, no fishing boats, no pleasure boats. Uh, maybe it's too damn hot. It's uh, probably uh, 80 degrees already this morning at 9.30, 10 o'clock. It looks like a tree reached out and touched my mirror. Did I do that? Oops, sorry. Would that be considered art? Similar to my uh, tobacco stick art. Straw on the water. Farm art. Okay, another field finished and uh, one more to go. I saved the biggest for last. That's what she said. This is the last one in the biggest field. So let's get to it. It is so dry right now. And this is when you ask, how dry is it? Uh, well, yesterday afternoon, uh, it was uh, Sunday afternoon, I was at the hardware store, and my daughter comes into the office and shows me a picture of a field on fire about uh, 10 minutes north of us. It was a wheat field. At the time, I, it, it looked like the wheat field had been cut, but in one of the pictures, it looked like a combine in the background. So I, I wasn't really sure if the combine caught on fire or if that's how it started or if the field had already been cut and the combine was long gone. I didn't really know. Well, I just read on the internet, so it's got to be true, that they think the fire was started by a spark from the combine. There were no pictures of a burn-up combine, so I'm assuming the combine was okay, but somehow maybe a spark came out of the machine and uh, started the fire. Now, one of the articles I read said that uh, about two acres burned. Somebody made a comment on the article that said, no, it was a whole lot more than that. Uh, so I don't know, I'll uh, try to go up and uh, look at it tomorrow on my way to the bank. Uh, I just, I don't wish that on anybody. That, that's, that's, uh, that's a bad thing to have happen. Hopefully, what burned was was the part of the field that had already been cut, uh, but I'm not sure. Apparently, uh, a local farmer nearby saw this and, and brought his tractor and disc out to try to um, create a barrier. Uh, there were quite a few houses um, around this field. It could have gotten ugly quickly, but we've got a great volunteer fire department system in this county, so everybody responded, and, and I guess they took care of it. No injuries, no property damage, um, other than the field and maybe some wheat that burn up, and that part I don't know about. 
that's how dry it is. It is also so dry that I don't believe I can plant soybeans behind this wheat until it rains. I, I don't think I'll, I'll get the drill in the ground and get the soybeans covered up. I noticed my neighbor, he did plant soybeans behind the wheat that he cut uh, on Saturday. I'll have to go out in the field and, and look. It's the field right next to uh, our farm. So I'll, uh, I'll walk out there and see what kind of coverage you got. But I, it just doesn't appear there's any moisture here in this ground. Number one, to, to get the soybeans in the ground. But number two, if you, you can get them covered up, I don't think there's enough moisture to, to cause those soybeans to sprout and, and uh, germinate. So time will tell. I think next chance of rain is uh, Wednesday. Uh, and I'll be cutting, I'll be done cutting wheat and baling straw by then. So uh, let it rain. And then I guess I'll be uh, planting soybeans on the 4th of July. Uh, that's happened before. But I think uh, it's hard to do this, hold the camera and, and turn around at the same time. But I think the 4th of July has been canceled anyway because of this so-called uh, pandemic that we're in. Um, so. It's just another day to do some work. All three guys responded to my text message about unloading straw this afternoon. Uh, I've got two definites and uh, one maybe, so uh, we'll get the straw unloaded. And then uh, what I'm going to do when I get back here to the field is uh, move the, the chopper up and put some windrows down. And then it looks like the farmer's daughter and I tomorrow morning will be baling straw. That's the game plan at this point, always subject to change. I saw my Orioles hat in the truck this morning and figured I can wear it proudly right now because you know what? They have not lost a single game yet this season. So yeah, go, go O's. Wearing the hat proudly. So, well, okay, I'm at the end of the row, but uh, uh, there's the creek and the river, another beautiful bay out on the river, but I do not see any boats. Okay, almost uh, finished up cutting wheat here. I've only got about four more passes. Farmer's daughter is uh, on the other end of the field, uh, hooking the last wagon up to the baler. She's uh, behind those trees over there. Uh, we've got about six or seven more passes here that I have put in windrows to bail up. Uh, we've got two wagons fully loaded. Didn't have enough down to load the third wagon, so I cut a few more passes here. And now I've got the straw chopper uh, back on and chopping it up. Uh, so once we... Uh, get these few passes cut. I'll jump on the wagon, get the uh, rest of it bailed up, and then we will be done. We'll get everything uh, moved home uh, in uh, about two hours.
Uh, maybe you can see her down there now. Hooking it up, getting ready to go. six passes here in the short rows to bail up and then two passes over there in the longer rows to bail up so that should be about a uh, hundred and fifty bales is my estimate damn trees they're always getting in my way it was those trees right there where the graveyard is we go. The 2020 wheat harvest is complete. Well, the harvest of the wheat is complete. The harvest of the bales is not yet complete, but give me 45 minutes and it will be. This is uh, one of the fields where that uh, fire happened with the wheat I was talking about. I think it started in this field. And then it jumped over to this field here. Uh, so you can see right here it jumped. And beyond those trees, you see some dark trees, some brown trees. There's a housing development, so there was concern there with those houses. But yeah, right here is where it started. Uh, so from what I've heard through the grapevine, uh, it did start with the combine that was in the field. And I see the combine sitting up here. Uh, I'm not sure how badly it was burnt, so let's go take a look. So there is the machine just sitting there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, I can't. I mean, it's not. It's not burnt up, as you can see. So not quite sure exactly where it started or how it started, but I believe that is the culprit. And actually, if, uh, if you recall a couple of years ago, I did a video about Super Farmer, and this is actually Super Farmer's machine. So, yes, apparently started in this field. And then jumped across the road to that other field. So I'm, I'm guesstimating 20 to 30 acres burnt. description of the video of our local um, websites that had a story and a few pictures on it. it th their pictures were not that great and not a whole lot of information. And I think one of our local fire departments uh, had, a, had a fire apparatus uh, get burnt. I haven't verified if it was a uh, a total loss or not uh, but it was one of their uh, jeeps that they use uh, for for brush fires apparently that got burnt a little bit or maybe totally destroyed I haven't heard yet exactly hey 
it uh, looks like they have uh, got the fields planted with soybeans uh, hopefully they come up it is awful dry today is July 4th uh, we had a high of about 96 degrees yesterday I uh, heard from let me put my windows up here get rid of some of that wind noise uh, my friend told me yesterday uh, he's been keeping weather records for for the last 25 years or so uh, locally and he told me yesterday he recorded the driest June that he's ever had in the, the 25 years or so that he's been recording uh, weather records uh, 1.7 inches of rain is all we got during the month of June for this particular area uh, so yeah, it's it's quite dry right now and, and these temperatures in the 90s are not helping us at all uh, We've got I see some corn tasseling there uh, um, So things things were looking good up until the last week or so Fingers crossed we have a chance of rain uh, this evening so and I hope we get some of that because it is desperately needed. See ya.